Warrington here looking to go wide early in this tackle. Wide pass by Williams. Yeah, and the opportunity there for Ashton. And Ashton with a chance here. And Matty Ashton, he's got support as well. Oh, with a slick to the last minute. Gets up. He was hurt when he went down. But he scores the try. What a start for Warrington. They gambled. They went wide. Ashton with the break. With a stumble. He hurt himself. No napper, of course. Whitley. That's how close he is to the line. Matouti is in there to make the tackle. Langy. Has he gone straight from dummy half? Clark again. Williams. Well, Romano's made an error. Ball kicked forward. And it's Wardle scored. That may well be a try for Jake Wardle. The mistake there from Arta Romano. And Jack Smith is giving the try on the field. So that goes backwards there. So that's a knock on. So I'm playing off from this point. So it's on the zero tackle. That's a kick through from Warrington. And the ball's grounded. Has resulted in a try for Jake Wardle. And Warrington are back in front. Uh, the shoulder in the sling and I'm sure Janet will be having a quick word to find out exactly what the problem is and now it's a penalty given away by yep he likes it and the flags go up of Williams as Phil said has been impressive in this first half and now he offloads to uh, McKayley who brushes off the challenge of, of Julien he is an impact player and he's made an impact already Ratchford now for Ben Curry. Curry uh, across the field, offloads. There might be a gap here. There might be a chance and a try on debut for Matty Nicholson. Would you believe it? The England under 16 international, the 10th Warrington debutant of this season. Ratchford looking for the play, Riley Dean. And here is, oh, here is Nicholson again. Has he got the ball down? That's astonishing. And Establish is in possession. He was in possession at this point. Still in possession. Still in possession. Still moving. Still moving. Hands always under the ball at that point. Just keep it rolling. Uh, but Liam Moore there oh, could God. quite clearly see oh, right. the best and the worst performances are too far apart. Williams, little kick forward, he'll chase it on, and it was knocked on, and it's picked up by Ratchford, and Ratchford will score, and Stefan Ratchford with a big try for Warrington just before half time. Lost by Tompkins, I've established that, and playing on. Ratchford picks up clean. And the ball's grounded. Ratchford. The key to that, of course, was Ratchford ahead of George Williams when the little kick went through. Pierce with a long kick out, knocked back by Lange, picked up by Conor Rents. Now then, has Conor Rents got the, the speed? He has, the Costa can't catch him, no one will catch him. Conor Rents goes the distance, Conor Rents scores the try, the breakaway try, and it may well be enough to set Warrington on their way to a big two points. The Gil Dudson gets up. Here's Mitchell Pearce. Now then, Tompkins sensing an opportunity. And Sam Tompkins takes the opportunity. With everyone involved at Warrington, this is going to be one of those days which they may well remember at the end of the season. McKayley, who's been exceptional. So has Ratchford. Brilliant offload to Clark. What a try. Williams goes under the post. Try of the game. Will win the game. George Williams finishes it. McKayley started it. Fantastic score. And Warrington are running wire. To Gareth Widdop, who has suffered another dislocated shoulder. Here is Pierce and Goodemon. Will just run the ball through. Harrison makes the tackle. And that is that. A delighted Daryl Powell. Warrington Wolves come back after one of their worst performances of the season in defeat against Salford to produce arguably their best.